All right, so you open up an existing project and you set up this cursor, this rules folder, and you have to populate these rules if you want to get good results from cursor. You have to populate all these rules each time for your existing projects. And this could be a tedious task because you already have a lot of stuff here and you have to kind of either use ChatGPT, cursor, whatever. You have to generate these rules and prepare this every single time you want to work on a complex project. In the end, you end up just hacking it together and putting a lot of rules in each workflow. Please use a to-do list, blah, 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 things like that. And it gets super annoying to have to do this every single time. Now, yes, there are GitHub repos which promise to basically help you with this cursor rule generation, or there's repos which contain a bunch of cursor rules that you can basically drop in. But again, this is tedious, it's a lot of extra work, and it's not a setup you want to do every single time you jump into a project. Now my solution is to create a custom mode within cursor, which we're going to call the rule maker or the rule architect. And this is going to create all of the rules within the project for us automatically in an agentic process. Now, putting it all together, let's work out the instructions for our new agent. This is what we're going to include in the custom mode so it builds the rules for us. So the instructions are broken down into four phases. Phase one is the analysis. It looks through the project, figures things out, and understands and builds that initial context. Phase two starts to do the planning, proposing, thinking about it. Basically, it's a thought process to try to figure out what the kind of rules are needed for a project. And then phase three is the execution and saving of those rules into the files that Cursor expects. And last, we have a knowledge framework stack, which builds out all the documentation files right into the rules, which Cursor then needs to maintain. Now, taking things a step further, you can build these instructions for the rule maker within Gemini or one of the other LLMs that you use. So you take the documentation, you plug it in here. This is documentation for custom modes. This is documentation for rules. Both of these were developed or created with uh, Google Deep Research. And then basically you plug these in as source material or as context for Gemini. You tell it what you want, just give it the kind of instruction and then it generates the custom instructions for our custom mode, the rule maker. This is perfect because then you can refine and adjust these things specifically to your train of thought or how you want to work. All right, so our instruction document is ready. We're going to go ahead and open cursor. Before we start anything, head over to cursor settings. If you don't have this enabled yet, go to chat, scroll down, make sure that custom modes is enabled. We're going to open this. Now go add custom mode. We'll call this the rule maker. We're going to set a little icon just to differentiate it for us. We're going to put the model to Claude 4 Sonnet so it's not defaulting to anything less. Now we're going to go back, disable the run tool, go to advanced, put the instructions here. Okay, instructions are copied in here. Put auto run on just in case it needs it for grep or something like that. But we have run disabled here. Now everything is set that we need, hit done, and now you have this new rule maker agent. We're going to go ahead and just say create the rules and let this guy work. Now when it's done running, it's going to ask us if we approve the plan. Once we approve it, it's going to create all of the rules for us. So if you want, you can go ahead and read the plan, see what it's intending to do. And if you're happy with it, you can approve it or you can tell it what you don't like, what things to change and then approve the plan. Alright, so if we have a look, cursor is finished. It's written about 10 rules. A lot of these are specific rules like PHP, for example. We could do auto attach this to uh, PHP files only. 
for some strange reason it doesn't actually specify the rule type or kind of do this logic it'd be nice if it did maybe it's something in the script or the instructions that can be tuned further um, this I did put to always this is documentation rule so this is going to always tell cursor you know you got to document things you got to check the documentation keep it updated keep a to-do list that sort of thing it's also because it's been looking through the project and analyzing everything it also created the docs these are very helpful to help cursor navigate large projects and always maintain these docs so I typically run one of these main rules that you know check the docs update the docs understand the docs that sort of thing and it has created all of that systematically and dynamically for us. Okay, so since you're working with an LLM to generate the initial instruction set for the rule maker and all of the rules for cursor, you can experiment and iterate as much as you want here. Don't be kind of one shot and then that's how I'm going to work. No, refine your approach over time and perfect it. With this approach, you're going to get a lot more consistency if you have a bunch of team members working with Cursor on a project because the rules generated are going to be so in-depth and so dynamic to that project that it's basically going to force consistency across the board. And you're going to save a lot of time because no longer you need to make those rules manually. It's all done for you dynamically based on the project at hand. And it works. It's a custom mode that's built into Cursor and can be pulled up anytime you jump into a project. This is the power of agentic workflows at its maximum. So that's it. Stop setting up. Start shipping. Easy as that. Grab the instructions in the description below and hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy.